Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I found some recent information, some scientific papers, about the threat of a possible landslide um, on La Palma and the stress buildup there for the possible landslide that could create a mega tsunami over 3,000 feet high. The uh, caldera, to print, there on La Palma. Um, there was a scientific paper and study research done for dike intrusion, creating stress that could cause a possible collapse of the northern section of La Palma. In this paper, they have drawn out the uh, dotted line, which is the vertical strain estimated. Because of the overlying rock, um, the intrusion of the magma from a dike, much like uh, Fisher 8 there on the island Hawaii, has been transferred sideways. Here's another image of that intrusion of the magma. But more recently in time, there has been a plug that developed that deflected the intrusion of the magma coming up from the mantle, going to the... Uh, southern section of the island let me move this over so you can see which section that they were studying they used drones in this study this is the area of the study so basically because of this plug which transferred the flow of magma from the northern section to the southern section of the island it makes a threat of a dike intrusion down here um, much greater and the potential for a mega tsunami even greater. There is a four minute video you might want to watch on YouTube called Mega Tsunami Scenario La Palma Landslide. It was published in 2017. That clip was taken from this video right here, Naked Science Landslides. It's almost an hour long, talks about um, landslides and mega tsunamis. My last report that I did about La Palma was about the 200 and what, 87 earthquakes that occurred there on the island. You notice most of them have been here on the southern end. This here is an image of earthquakes within the last three days from IGN.ES. This here is an image I tried to document. Um, I believe it's 77 of the earthquakes that were reported that they were able to document where they occurred at. This fissure, this rift system that I have marked in red is where a possible landslide could occur if a dike intrusion was to happen and that radius of um, stress was to happen causing a landslide and the mega tsunami. La Palma is basically a very young island. It's only about four million years old. What's different about this island compared to the Hawaiian island is that the crust that it sits on is very hard so it doesn't have subsidence um, much like the Hawaiian Islands where the crust is much softer so the weight of the islands is pushing down on the crust of the earth and so uh, there's like a trough around the islands of Hawaii. The magma production there at the Canary Islands is lower than say at the Hawaiian Islands. And what's different, too, is that uh, La Palma doesn't have a shallower magma chamber, much like the Hawaiian Islands do. The magma comes deep, from deep within the Earth, maybe 20 to 30 kilometers. So that would be about 12 to 19 miles deep within the crust that the plume comes up to feed this island. Here in this paper, it talks about the long-lived reservoir of the upper mantle, 20 to 30 kilometers in depth before being in place for a much shorter period of time, weeks to months, in the upper mantle or crust, uh, 10 to 15 kilometers, and finally mitigating upward along the rapidly propagating dikes to erupt. And it talks about the different collapses that have happened there on the island and how the volcanism is mitigating, uh, forming that ridge, the north-south oriented ridge. That's the one that's so dangerous.
Here on IGN.ES, it shows the recent earthquakes and the depth of the magma. See that there? Uh, more than likely, this could be caused by uh, rock slides or dike intrusion. This is here is La Palma. I want to show you El Euro. El Euro is still very active. I noticed this little blip here at the top. I wish I could make it larger for you. But it looks like uh, the activity there on El Euro, which is actually off on the uh, southern side of the volcano, is still ongoing. And let me go back um, another time frame here to show you that. And we'll go to um, La Palma. The activity it was showing. Yeah, all the earthquakes. And we'll go back another hour. These are uh, one hour time frames. See, 13, 14 hour. Yeah, I got two grandchildren here today. And I'll go back another hour. Twelve to thirteen hundred. Uh, let's take a look at El Euro. Yeah, look at that. See, that's magma. And see how deep that is? The difference between that and what's currently happening at La Palma. I still have not been able to find the recent gas readings, what's going on. Um, that's very significant to find. I used to have it when I was covering the eruption at El Euro. Um, what, six, seven years ago it was? But luckily I was able to find this. All right, so we'll go to El Euro and what it was showing. See how we had a spike there? So going back to Google Maps, let me pull this out. Here we have El Euro. And like I said, these islands were basically formed. This one was formed by um, three distinct volcanic eruptions. And the shape was formed by uh, distinct landslides, which is always a great threat. And you can see the discoloration we got here. El Euro when it erupted off of the uh, southern uh, fishing port. So this new research was published October of this year, 2020. Uh, dike apertures record, rec record stress accumulation during sustained vocalism. Yeah, a lot to learn here, uh, especially if you want to apply it to volcanoes, let's say in Italy or the Hawaiian Islands. And I have to apologize for my two grandsons and all their noise there in there playing Minecraft. All happy. So I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have a very happy New Year. I think uh, 2021 is going to bring a lot more disasters. But I thought that was real interesting about the possible collapse um, applied because of dike intrusion, basically, anywhere on this island. And if we did get a mega tsunami, um, yeah, Florida, you would be inundated because Florida is, <laughs> yeah, most of Florida is only about 30 feet above sea level, where Britain Hill there in Florida is about 340 feet. But if you got a mega tsunami that's coming towards you, there's no safe place to evacuate there in Florida and many places along the uh, east coast of the United States. So what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.